In this lecture, we will learn about equivalent stiffness of system which is combination of springs. We will start with a parallel system of springs. So here we have two springs with stiffnesses K1 and K2 connected in this way and a force F is acting in downward direction. The initial length of the springs is L and because of this force F, the final length of the springs becomes L plus X. So extension in both the springs is X and because the stiffnesses are K1 and K2, so the forces F1 and F2 will be equals to K1X and K2X. Now if I consider equilibrium of this segment of the spring, then I will get F equals to F1 plus F2 and if I denote the equivalent of my original system by a single equivalent spring whose stiffness is K equivalent, the length is L and if I displace that with application of force F, then F should be equals to K equivalent into X. So this equation, if I substitute values of F, F1 and F2 in terms of the displacement and the stiffnesses, then I get K equivalent X equals to K1X plus K2X and that gives me K equivalent equals to K1 plus K2. Now here note that what makes these springs in parallel is not their parallel placement but the property that their displacements are same and their forces are different. Here note that both the springs undergo same displacement x and their forces f1 and f2 are different. So two springs will be considered in parallel if their displacements are same and their forces are different. Similarly, in a series system, we have two springs with stiffness K1 and K2 and their lengths are L1 and L2 and if this system by application of force F stretches by amount X, then by looking at the geometry of the two springs, say the stretching of first spring is x1 and stretching of second spring is x2 then force in first spring will be k1 x1 and force in second spring will be k2 x2. Now if I consider free body diagrams of the springs separately then I can find that both f1 and f2 will be equals to f so that gives me x1 equals to f upon k1 and x2 equals to f upon k2. Now if I draw equivalent system for given springs, here the length will be L, the equivalent stiffness will be k equivalent and if I apply same force f then stretching x will take place. So I get f equals to k equivalent x. Now if I look at my original system and the equivalent system, the x will be equals to x1 plus x2 that is stretching of individual springs added together and if I substitute values of x, x1 and x2 in this equation then I get x is f upon k equivalent, x1 is f upon k1, x2 is f upon k2 and here this f will cancel on both sides so I get 1 upon k equivalent equals to 1 upon k1 plus 1 upon k2 and this I can also write as k equivalent equals to k1 k2 upon k1 plus k2 and here note that it is not the appearance of the springs being in series makes them in series but what makes them in series is they both carry same force and their stretchings are different. So if two springs are connected such that under action of force their displacements are different and their forces are same. 